In this video, we're going to work through the question on linear programming. Now, rather than it being an entire linear programming problem, part of the work's already been done for us. So let's just read through. We've got a mechanic trying to figure out how many oil changes and how many tire rotations to schedule. And we're given the constraints for the situation. And these equations right now have already been graphed. And here it is right down here. So we already have the constraints their graph down here, and then we're told that x is the number of oil changes, so that's helpful to note. Let's just mark that. I'm going to just mark oil changes and write x by it, so that's x, and y is the number of um, tire rotations, so that's going to be my y, just to keep that straight. And the mechanic can make a profit of $12 for each oil change and $10 for each tire rotation. I'm supposed to figure out how many of each he should schedule each day. Now, unless he's a moron, he wants to maximize profit. Obviously, that's what you want to do in a business. So we're going to maximize profit, and our equation for that is 12x plus 10y, because every oil change gets me a profit of $12, and every tire rotation gets me a profit of $10. All right, now I need to know what points I'm going to plug in here. I've got my feasible region here, and these have been already marked. So this point is 0, 10. And this point is 12, 0, but I have one other vertex that I don't know. Now, that vertex is the intersection of these two lines right here. Now, I have a couple options. I could pull out my calculator and do it using um, matrices, and that'll get it to me fairly quickly. But I do notice they both have 2y, and this is going to be pretty easy to just do by elimination. So I'm going to do that real quick. x plus 2y equals 20. I'll change the signs on the other ones, negative 3x minus 2y equals negative 36, and then I can um, cancel those out, and I've got negative 2x equals negative 16, and x equals 8. I'll plug that back into this first one. 8 plus 2 times y equals 20, 2y equals 12, and y equals 6. And now I know the coordinates of this point, 8, 6. All right, so I'm ready to figure out the profit at each of those points. So my profit at 0, 10 is going to be, let's see, 12 times 0 plus 10 times 10. That's going to be 100. My profit at 8, 6 is going to be 12 times 8 plus 10 times 6. Let's see. I don't have my calculator handy, so I think that's 96 and 60, so that's 156. And then my profit at 12, 0 is going to be 12 times 12 plus 10 times 0, and that's 144. Since I want to maximize profit, clearly the number I'm interested in is the biggest of the three. There it is. Last step, I need to answer the question. And I'm going to say he should schedule. Let's see. So this was going to be 8 and 6, and 8 is x, so eight oil changes and six tire rotations for a max profit of $156, and this is for each day, so $156 per day.